I'm going to give a little background to this. Um, the subject came up uh, last year about trap cropping for the squash bugs. And since it, uh, Lincoln University, uh, Dr. Pinheiro has shared with me the solution for that by using Blue Hubbard and uh, Red Curry winter squash. But last year when we had the heavy rains here in the Ozarks, we had an issue with uh, so much rain that we couldn't get in the garden. And I have a rule that when the garden's wet, I don't go in the garden. Well, lo and behold, that created an opportunity I hadn't thought of before. Um, this is uh, a type of amaranth we're trialing this year, dwarf amaranth. But if you'll notice, you'll look at the leaves and they've got a lot of holes in the leaves. And that is called by the striped cucumber beetle. Later on, that'll be also the spotted cucumber beetle. And this is a trap crop for both of those critters, uh, the, the spotted and striped uh, cucumber beetle which can cause a lot of damage to cucumbers, melons, even watermelons, they can ruin the melons, uh, in some cases even uh, gourds. And as long as this plant is healthy and producing new leaves and putting them on, you just let them eat to their heart's content. Maybe plant a little extra so that you can have some for greens and some as a trap crop so that um, you can enjoy your cucurbits later on in the season. Um, you could spray them like they, like they do for the trap crops for squash, uh, but in this particular case, you really don't need to. As long as the plant is healthy, they will just keep eating and they will not bother your cucumbers whatsoever. Um, last year, I remember I had a, a, a native pigweed, which is a type of amaranth, was right up against a cucumber leaf like that. And they were eating on the amaranth, but they would not touch the cucumber whatsoever. So that led me to believe that, wow, that is a fabulous uh, new thing or discovery. But maybe somebody else has already written about it, but it was the first time for me to see it. And it just opened up possibilities. Amaranth is so easy to grow. It literally does grow like a weed and very nutritious. It, it's uh, some people consider it like a winter spinach or summer spinach, excuse me. And um, you can eat the seeds that come from the seed heads. It's, uh, it's not like regular grain, it's a little bit different, but very nutritious, and it's a, it's a really, really good plant. Very tough, very resilient, and one nice thing about it, it grows in just tremendous heat. It can take a lot of abuse. It can take temperatures, root temperatures, easily in the hundreds, in 100 to 105, 110 degrees, not a problem whatsoever. So just a really, really good crop for you to try. Uh, for eating, but as well as using for a trap crop. It's got a dual purpose. And, uh, and I hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.